at home for so long. It's just so easy to stay in bed. Oh, well. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Anna. I don't know if you remember me from last year, but I'm excited. And do you know why I'm excited? I am excited because we are going to do Heroes! Well, that's our theme for this week. And what is this week? Does anybody know? <laughs> we are doing, we're going to have VBS! And this is VBS Home Edition. Oh man, I am so excited. And like you heard a second ago, it is going to be about heroes. This week, we're going to meet all kinds of heroes. And this week, we're going to learn the most wonderful song ever. I wonder if you can guess what song it is. Do you know? Maybe. Well, if you said heroes... <laughs> Well, that's what it is. Heroes. I can't believe it. It's heroes. Everything is heroes. Everything's heroes this week. I wonder what it all means. Well, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the program, you'll see me. And we are going to sing the song Heroes. In fact, I don't know all the parts to Heroes. And you might not know either, but we should try. So, Right now, I'm going to have you listen to the song. And as you listen to the song, maybe you can become familiar with it. And then by the end of the week, we'll be up and moving and we'll be able to do all the parts. I wonder if you can do all the parts now. But right now, I'm going to watch. So let's, let's get to it. <laughs> right? So excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Here we go.
we enjoyed that. Did you? Oh, though I may be small, I can stand tall. I can be a hero too. I can make a difference in my life. Well, I hope you enjoy your adventure today. And I think you will. And I will see you at the end of your adventure. See you later. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Sasha, and welcome to the Oasis Prayer Station. I have been to many places and many lands, but no places at all is as special as the Oasis Prayer Station. Do you guys know why the Oasis Prayer Station is so special? Do you know why? It's because Jesus is the caretaker of this land. Yes, yes, he is. Do you guys see what's over there? Do you see it? Yes, it's water. Come with me to come to come get some water. Many people travel from far all over the world just to get this special water. Okay, I'm gonna pour my water in this glass. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is my friend, Mr. Bear. Say hi, Mr. Bear, hi. Mr. Bear, would you like some water? You would? Okay, I'm gonna give Mr. Bear some water first. Mmm, was it good, Mr. Bear? It was. Can I have some water, too? Okay, thank you. I'm going to have some water. Mmm, this water is so good. Would you all like some water? You would? Okay, I'm going to set my glass right here. I'm going to count to ten. So you guys can get your water. Okay, say, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, may I please have some water? Okay, let's count to 10 and you can get your water. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you get your water yet? No, you still need some time? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you have your water? Show me your water. I see your water. I see your water. <gasps> Someone's running. Okay. Don't spill your water. Okay. You got your water? All right. Everyone has their water. Okay. Let's all drink our water together. Mmm. They are right. This is the best water in all the world. I'm going to set my water right here. And we're going to talk about our theme for the day and for our first theme for the station of the day. The theme for today is knocking down fears. Does anyone know what fears is? You too? Let me see your hands. Okay, I see your hand. What is a fear? Yes, that's a fear. Does anyone else know a fear? Yes? Uh-huh. You're right. Those are all fears. And do you guys see what's down here? Pins. You're right. They're pins. Will you count the pins with me? Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pins. All of these pins represent fears. And so we're going to take a break from this right now, and we'll get into that a little bit later. 
And do you guys see that? That's my fear chart. So let's go see the fear chart. But before we go to my fear chart, I have something special right here. Do you know what this is? You do? What is it? Yes! Good job! This is a treasure chest. I'm going to open up my treasure chest. Let me see what's inside. I have a pointer. I'm going to use a pointer to use on my fear chart. I'm going to come over here. Mr. Bear, would you like to help me point out some fears? You would? Okay, let's point them out together. Are you guys afraid of what's inside the closet? You are? Do you think there's monsters in your closet? Does that make you scared? That's a fear. What about this? Are you afraid of bullies? Have you ever been bullied or ever seen someone bullied? You have? Yes, bullying is not nice. Bullies can be at home. Yes, sometimes a bully can be at home. And but most of the time they're at school. That's a fear. Are you afraid to be dropped off at daycare or school? You are? That's a fear too. What about spiders? Are you afraid of spiders? I'm gonna go into my treasure box. I have something in here. What is it? It's a spider! Oh, it's a spider! I'm so scared. Should I be scared, boys and girls? No, I shouldn't. Because we're in the Oasis Prayer Station. In the Oasis Prayer Station, we're not afraid of spirit of spiders do you know why because god is the caretaker of this oasis so i'm gonna put my spider right here because in the oasis spiders are okay and they're safe but only in the oasis prayer station don't touch spiders at home what about this is anybody afraid of the dark Raise your hand if you're afraid of the dark. You're afraid of the dark? Oh. What about the bus? Have you ever been afraid to ride the bus? When you go to school, do you get scared because you don't know if you're gonna get all the answers right on the test? What about this? What is this? Is this a dog? What sound does a dog make? Yeah, you're right, woof, woof. That's a dog. And what is this? It's a kitty cat. What sound does a cat make? Meow, meow. Are you scared because they like to scratch? Not in the Oasis Prayer Station. Dogs and cats are safe here. What about police? Have you guys seen anything on TV, on the news about police lately? You have? Have you seen a lot of scary things about the police? Yes, there's been a lot of things going on with police officers in our community. Well, I'm going to put my pointer down right now and we're going to go back to the pins and we're going to talk about the pins. The pins represent all the fears in your life and guess what i'm gonna go back into my treasure chest what's in here i have a ball and this ball represents jesus jesus is going to strike all the fears out in your life so boys and girls will you pray with me you will? Okay, let's pray together. Repeat after me, okay? Say, Dear Jesus, please God, 
Allow me to be brave. Allow me to give you all of my fears in my life. Because with you, I should not be afraid of anything. I love you, God. Amen. Okay, you guys, I got my ball. Do you see my ball? You do? Okay, so just pretend that you have a ball and we're going to strike all the pins with Jesus because the ball represents Jesus. Are you ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Let's strike all of our fears. Jesus just stroke all the fears out in your life. Yay. Amen. God is so good. So before I end for the day, I have a craft that I would like you to do. When you get home, ask your mom, dad, grandparents to get you 10 cups. And just like I struck out all of the pens with the ball representing God, you can use these cups at home and you can either draw a picture on the cup with um, some paper and have your parents help you tape it to the cup or you can write, if you know how to write, you can write some of your fears on the cup and you can place it on the floor just like I did and then get a small ball and then you can roll all, you can take your ball and strike out all the fears in your life. And also, if you have a journal, you guys can write down, anytime you feel afraid, you can write down all of your fears in your prayer journal. And if you do not know how to write, you can also draw. So that is your activity for this week. Thank you, boys and girls, for coming to the Oasis Prayer Station. I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to drink my glass of water. And I will join you for day two. Thank you. Bye. Hi, superheroes. It's Auntie Coco. Remember, our verse this week is Psalms 27.1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? This week, we're going to learn to be brave, be devoted, be caring, be bold, and be generous. Remember always, Jesus is with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Storytime at Vacation Bible School. I am your local mass avenger. <laughs> no. Actually, it's just Auntie Coco. This week, I get to spend every day with you telling you about Bible heroes. Now, what is a hero? When we think about a hero, we think of someone who wears a mask, or maybe they have a cape. But almost all the time, there's someone who goes around everywhere looking for someone who might be in danger, and they rescue them in some awesome way. Now, that's a type of hero, usually called a superhero. Did you know that heroes can be just everyday people? Some of the people that we might consider heroes are your firemen. You know, if there's a fire and there's a family or somebody stuck inside, a, police, a fireman will go inside and rescue that person. Or sometimes they just rescue an animal or something like that, some, someone's pet. So that's an everyday hero. But did you know that there are Little people heroes? Yes. There are little heroes in the Bible. And when I say little heroes, I mean kids, just like you. This week, we are going to learn about five of those heroes. Our, tomorrow, we will be learning about Miriam. Now, do you know who Miriam is? Miriam is Moses' 
big sister. Did you know he had a big sister? I have a big sister and she's one of my favorite people. But yes, he had a big sister and she plays a really big role in how Moses survived um, another Bible hero. But the part that she plays, she plays when she's just a little girl like some of you. Then we get to learn about, let me get my list because I, I don't want to miss anything. Then we get to learn about Samuel. Now Samuel, you may have heard about. He's a pretty popular Bible character. When he was a little boy, he got a special message from God. And he is one of the heroes that we're going to learn about this week as well. The next hero is someone that you might be familiar with. Her name, we aren't really told in the Bible, but in the story that you'll hear about this week, we're going to call her Nora. Nora is the name that we're going to give to the little girl who was a hero for someone else you may have heard about in the Bible named Naaman. Our next hero will be Now, Rhoda is also someone that you might not have heard about a lot, but she is one of our heroes this week as well. And she is a hero that helped Peter. Our last hero of the week before Sabbath will be a young man that we're going to call Jesse. Now, his name, again, is not mentioned in the book, but we're going to call him Jesse just so that you have someone to reference. He was a hero because he made a big sacrifice and he placed it in he placed his sacrifice in the hands of someone who was an even bigger hero Jesus and he was able to transform it into something really great so i know you're excited about hearing about all of those heroes this week and on sabbath we get to hear about the ultimate superhero but you're going to have to wait till sabbath before you hear about that okay so this week, I hope that you enjoy all of the stories, learning about all of the little that the Bible is full of. And I hope that once you get to the end of this week, you'll be ready to become a hero as well. Hey! I'm so excited. It is Vacation Bible School. And I've got my partner with me. Super Sarah! And I am Pinkalicious. Yes. So come on over and sit down and enjoy being with us for this segment of VBS. So one of the first things, since this is Sunday, this is our first day. Oh, my first goodness. Day. Yes. Oh, can you tell them about where we are located? We are in superhero land, and all of that stuff you see, all of that light and stuff, that's the superpowers. Superpowers like kindness, patience, love, peace, stuff like that that you need and we need. Yeah, and we're talking about being superheroes and not super zeros. Remember that today. Coach is going to take it away and tell us what cool craft we're going to be working on. Yes, yes, yes. So inside of your packet that our team mailed to you, you should have some crayons. Yes, yes, yes. And if you don't have crayons, Super Sarah is going to show you something that you oh, that something else you can use. Yes, you can use some color pencils and then the next thing you need to get out of your packet is a nice beautiful card yes and you'll need an envelope also and what you're going to do on your card is you are going to draw yourself as a super hero wow oh my goodness my so goodness. What you got? Oh, look at Super Sarah! Woo! Look at her fly! Oh my goodness, this is amazing! I tell you, Superhero Land is so phenomenal! 
Where did you go? Look right there. Oh, there she is. Don't you love her? I had to go rescue somebody. I had to go rescue somebody, Pink Alicia. They were in trouble. Yeah, they were in trouble. And I had to go take them some peace. They were fighting at school. Not cool. Summer school. Yeah. I'm back, though. <laughs> Oh, glad you are a superhero and not a super zero. A superhero always helps somebody who is in need. And so I want you to take the time to draw a picture on your card showing yourself as a superhero, showing yourself doing something absolutely amazing to help somebody else. Even saying hello to somebody is something super. That is. We need more love and more care in this world. And speaking to people is a way of showing kindness. Well, how much time do they have to do that? Because, hey, we can't stay with you all day. Do they get three minutes to do it? Do they get yeah. four minutes? Okay. okay. Why don't we try four minutes? Three minutes? Okay, three minutes. Okay, you can set the timer. Oh, are you going to play us some music that yeah. maybe causes us to think about being a superhero for Jesus? Yeah, and you know what else? You know what else? Super Sarah, I'm compromising. Let's give them four minutes because you know what? Superheroes work together. Yeah, and I'm about to play some music. Guys, let's pray that this works. God, we need your power. Please help this to work. And boys and girls, when you hear the music, you need to start doing what Super Sarah just said to do. What are we drawing? What are we drawing, Super Sarah? One more time. As a superhero doing something that, that helps somebody else. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to draw my picture, too. Yay, it worked! I'm going to draw, too, Super Sarah. I can't draw real good, though. I hope you all like my picture. Okay. Oh, I love the pictures of the butterfly. <sighs> <laughs> Me too, Super Sarah. Wow, wow. I thought you were Super Sarah, and I'm Pink Alicious. Drawing a cool picture here, Pink Alicious. All right, Super Pink Alicious, I think uh, they might have about two more minutes left. All right.
Oh, wow, I love the pictures. Wow, so cool. Yes. You know what, I'm glad that we're using our superpower because the, the most powerful power is the power of Jesus. The Holy Spirit helped us to get this to work right. Wow, man, I'm excited. And they only have... Matter of fact, time is up. Because are we are we gonna write something on a card too? Yes, we want to invite our friends to VBS. So we're hey. gonna write them a little message. And Super Sarah is going to show you the message that you're going to write down. Right, we're gonna stop here. You all oh. working hard out there, man. I see people drawing all type of cool pictures. I saw a kid drawing them sharing a toy, a basketball, that, taking turns. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And you know what? I think I saw another person draw a picture of a, and you all might not see this really good. That's okay, because there's so many superpowers out there. That's okay. Kind of. You know, that's kinda, it's kind of hard to see. But on my picture, I drew a mom and a dad holding hands. Ooh, that's love. That's the power of love. <laughs> yes, it is. And I drew somebody reading a book to Ooh. a other person. Knowledge is also a superpower, and we should definitely read our Bibles so that we can learn more about the powers that God has, like love, like peace, yes, like kindness. Right. We need all of that, and we're going to work on our little letter. Hey, let's pray again. Jesus, please send your holy power. Please help this to work, Lord. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, look! Yes, yes, there it is. Yay! That's what you're supposed to write on your card. What is that? Yeah. Because I don't have all my glasses, Pinkalicious. Please use your power and read it for me. Because I don't have my glasses. I trust you. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Take a deep breath. It's okay. It's okay. De-escalate. Calm down. Okay. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking calm. Thank you for helping me. Ah. Okay, I'm all right. So, it looks like Super Sarah wrote me a letter. She wrote, Dear Pinkalicious, please join me for RVBS. Your friend, Super Sarah. It's me. Now, it's me. It's me. That's right. Now, when you do it, you're not going to write Pinkalicious. No. You're going to write your friend's name. So maybe your friend's name is Joseph. Or maybe your friend's name is Isaac. Or Sarah. Or Samantha. Or Jessica. Whatever your friend's name is, you're going to write it right where it says Pinkalicious. And then where it says your friend, you're going to write your name under that. And you can ask your mom or dad or whoever you're staying with to send this letter, to mail this letter to your friend or you can take a picture and what letter you wrote and send it to your friend. 
Wow. And guess what? You only have uh, two minutes. That's right, because we have to sign out to fly over to Monday. Hey, hey I got a question, too. While they're doing that, Super Sarah, isn't, isn't there something else that they're going to do with a sheet of white paper? <gasps> yeah. yeah. What are they going to do? Where are they going to So inside of their journal... Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Inside of their journal, it looks like this. Cool. You can draw another picture of yourself being a superhero, or you can draw a superhero that you really like. That'll and work. That's right, and you can share with anybody you want to. Well... Looks like they have one minute and 31 seconds. And when you hear this whistle, time is up. Till our next That's right. Time will be up. Do you think that I should see if I can play some more music while they do this? Or let's leave the music out, huh? Well, I think we probably should leave the music out. Only because we don't want to get rid of our our little board here so that the students or VBS superheroes can yeah. write down their letter. You know what? I think I was, I'm thinking wrong because I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Picalicious. Well, do you know, there are some snacks that <laughs> we put inside of our a VBI, VBS package, but I want to ask that every child ask your parent before you eat any treat, any Skittles, before you eat any treat, any gold bears, <laughs> any rainbow chews, mm -hmm. any jelly beans, we want you to ask your parent first. Be respectful, be kind, be obedient, and ask your parents before you start eating any treats. Oh, it's time to go. Oh my goodness. Well, we are so glad you joined us for VBS. And tomorrow we hope to see you at the same time and location. Hi boys and girls, I am Katrina Palmer. Welcome to our scavenger hunt activities. First, today we will go over our very important rules, instructions. The first instruction, uh, please make sure that whatever activity or whatever items you're looking for, that you get your parents permission, another adult, or an older sibling. Please ask for permission. Uh, always clean up behind yourself. Uh, you must find at least five other items in order to win. And the first person to text to the number 913-620-3272 will be the winner. So quickly find your items and text a picture of those items to um, this number, 913-620-3272. Now, because we're doing things a little different this year, I ask that you um, take a picture of these items. You can cut them out of a book, an old book, after you get permission. Or you can, um, like I say, use your imagination. Be creative. Um, the next thing we're going to do, the, this is a display of the story that I have of Miriam. The items that I want you to find and to text to the number that I gave you earlier, and I give you that number again. I want you to find something to represent Pharaoh's daughter, the bushes, the basket, a blanket that Moses was wrapped in, baby Moses, and Miriam, Moses' uh, older sister. 
Also, I have some water that was in the river, of course. Find these items and quickly take a picture of them and send them to 913-620-3272. The first one to send their picture to this number, to text their picture to this number, will be the winner. Again, I remind you to please get permission before you cut out of your old uh, magazines or whatever you have to do to find your items. Get permission, get assistance from uh, someone that is older. Uh, have fun and I wish you the best. The winner for uh, today, which will actually be tomorrow, winners will be announced at the bottom of the screen on uh, Monday. So have fun and run around, find your items. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy your adventure today? Oh, we have a whole week of adventures. In fact, we are going to meet heroes from, from long ago and it's going to make us feel like we can be heroes too. Not just feel like, but with God's help, we can be heroes. Well, today is the end of day one, and we are going to try out this song again one more time. In fact, by the end of this week, we should know it by heart. Well, I am out of my bed, and I hope you are too by now. And even though I don't know all the parts, I'm going to try. So, Let's see if you can too. Are you ready? Let's <laughs> go.
was wonderful. I didn't know all the parts, but I did it anyway. Well, see you all tomorrow.